Okay guys, yes I know, everyone's right to me, it's been a while. So here's what's going on. The 56 Chevy pickup is up on the hoist. Chris is fitting everything from e-brake cables to tranny cooler. Let's take a look. So he's making all the, he's doing all the e-brake cable work here. He's got to run all the brake lines. This is an electric e-brake putting in. I think it's called an e-stop. He's fitting the master cylinder, the booster. Over here we got our vacuum pump because obviously this engine is not going to create enough vacuum for the booster. Just trying to fit everything together. He's fitting a starter on. Obviously the headers are on the engine. Uh, he's got cutouts that's got to go on here so we got to fit those in. He's uh, running the wires just roughed in right now where they're going to be. Obviously this is all going to come apart because everything has to be painted under here. You can see he's hooking up the steering, figuring out where the steering goes, the shafts. That's turning out really nice, working out good. So that's that's the 56 Chevy. If you remember, I don't know if you can see, I'd rounded the door corners. It got customers going for the clean, smooth look. Filled in the seam, the factory seam on the fender, wanted the signals welded over in. He doesn't want them there. I don't know whether he's putting them in the headlights or he's putting them behind the grill. That I don't know. I haven't asked him yet. Uh, a lot of aftermarket sheet metal, obviously, doors and fenders, which always never line up perfect. Um, you know, this aftermarket stuff, uh, some is good, some is bad, but at the end of the day, none of it ever fits perfect. So anyone out there buying it that thinks you're just going to bolt a brand new fender on and it's going to fit like new, no, uh, you're wrong. And they all are a little ripply and wavy from factory. You've got to block them and straighten them and they all need a skim coat of filler. So just so you're aware, that is what you need to do. The Cuda is sitting here. I've got the quarters on it. Haven't been doing too, too much to it. I've got to get to it. Um, the customer's not in a major panic. So that's what's going on with the Cuda. That's about what's going on in the shop itself. What do we got going on out here? Oh, that's just Chris taking off. He's leaving. Um, so that's what's going on right now in here. We'll come around outside here now. I've been building on quite a bit. Well, not building on, but I've been closing these bays in, as you can see. And we're going for this old school natural wood look here. That was quick. Did you get lunch? You're not going now? Oh fuck, okay, Chris ain't going for lunch. Okay, so this is what we're doing here. We're going for this old school look. We're putting the, the plywood to kind of match our carport bays over there on. So we can see we've got the tar paper up there. Rich, Rich, my builder, is doing an awesome job. Lucky for him, I was, a, I was a housing builder contractor way back in the day and I had to show him how. I'm just fucking with you. Okay, the, uh, the 42 Dodge. The 42 Dodge is right here. It's all fitted together. Now it's gonna be going out really soon. It's going to be getting a custom made frame and then it's going to come back and then obviously this is just the rough end of the bodywork. We did all the welding, we roughed all the bodywork in and then what happens is you bolt it together, you kind of pre-fit it, then you blow it all apart, you block it, you sand it, you prime it again, you bolt it back together, you make sure it fits even fucking better, then you blow it all apart again and you prime it and block it, then you paint it all in pieces and stages and away you go. So this is a huge, huge job. but it's 100% better than it was when it came in. So that is what's going on there with the Dodge. You can see all the lines line up fairly decent. I mean, for the first pre-fit, look at the body lines fitting good. Fenders are nice. Don't forget this welting that goes in there. You know, the doors are, are nicely closing together at the bottom. You got a nice line across the bottom there. So they're looking good. Body lines again are, are, are in line looking awesome. So that's what's happening. So that is about it, and yes, of course, then we've got a forklift over in the corner. Yes, we are doing forklifts now for kit equipment. No, I don't normally do forklifts, but I am the propane guy. Yes, for all you that didn't know it out there, I did propane for 12 years straight conversions. I was doing conversions back in the day when propane was like 25 cents a liter, and I was the guy you came and saw, did it for 12 years. Anyway, with that being said, it's always a good time at old time. No more forklifts, no more propane. Keep it hot rods, and that's the way we go. Thanks for watching, and there you go. Big thumbs up.